Alright, soalan ke apa? Thanks, okay. Tegu. Last question. Which which GDP data kita patut refer? Ada tak data yang leading? Okay, untuk answer this question, uh, I have to show the screen. Tentu akan tentu screen susana bagi tahu. Okay, uh, boleh nampak screen saya? Because I always yeah, refer to forex directly. Right? Okay, done. Okay, first of all, uh, I rasa, uh, I've been telling uh, generally, uh, siapa tu? FMC dia ada dua mandate yang bersalah apart, apart from other mandate. Okay, inflation and employment. Okay, so these are the two mandate, big mandate. Okay, tapi uh, question jual is more on the GDP. Okay, GDP is also one of the elements, tapi it's not really uh, the two biggest mandate yang FMC pegang. Okay, GDP more towards the economic growth lah. Sama macam, sorry, okay. Tapi untuk US, for the time being, these are the two big mandates. But of course, uh, this also related to employment. Okay, so our employment also will give a, a, a to and fro effect. Atau even inflation pun ada effect to and fro. Okay, to look for GDP, I think uh, in the forex recipe, we actually can see uh, apa tu, data uh, US GDP. Okay, sorry. Primary GDP, which normally come up, I think second week, atau uh, third week, okay? So, so this one, okay? But of course, this GDP it will not tell much uh, in terms of what might happen to inflation and uh, employment, okay? Tapi you guys still can use it because employment, if it's good, sorry, uh, if GDP is good, then the tendency is employment. Mm -hmm will also be good, inflation will be also a bit uh, within the range, okay? But this data itself will not uh, move the market too much compared to inflation, employment, ataupun interest rate, ataupun uh, any of the FMC uh, statement lah, okay? But I would say this is a tier 2 data that uh, I think last time I already shared. This may be a tier 1 data, this will be a tier 2 uh, data that you guys can refer. Okay, uh, any leading indicator, again, uh, for the time being, I also have no idea. I only uh, get it. Okay. based on whatever data that comes out in the forex directory as a high impact or medium impact. Because we as a trader, we are not an uh, economist or we are not the hedge fund uh, research analyst that we have to go into too much nitty gritty of all those decisions. Uh, those are the jobs that are supposed to be done by the the writer ataupun the the analyst we just read the report from Bloomberg Reuters or CNBC ataupun the first uh, investing.com or ataupun any other uh, business news and we just take uh, any good news coming out from there and then we trade it any good news from US dollar we trade long uh, US dollar ataupun anything uh, adverse to US dollar then we just uh, short US dollar or similar to other any other currency so want to go into too much into detail unless you are uh, working as an analyst at our knee uh, then i would recommend you guys to go and study but just as a retail trader as a swing trader uh, you still can do it but uh, again uh, it's just a, uh, your time utilization how you want to utilize as uh, maximize your time for me it's just good enough read uh, business news, business paper, front page, what's happening on geopolitics, etc. That's just already good enough. Okay. Of course, there are so many reports, like economic reports that comes out, ataupun some of the consulting firm like uh, McKinsey, ataupun uh, Kearney, uh, ataupun uh, Boston Consulting, they ataupun JP Morgan, they all write, I think, almost on a weekly basis, some research papers, ataupun uh, market outlook. If you guys have time, <laughs> you guys can read it. Sometimes I do read it, but not every month. Maybe once in a six month or once in a blue moon, I will go and read it, but not always. Okay? Okay, Bun? Okay, but. Terima kasih, Encik Rashid.